Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to use our Money Worksheet Generator. When you first start the generator, this is the screen you'll see. And when you're using, if you ever have any questions, you can always put the uh, cursor over each one of these question marks, and it'll tell you what the button field or box that it's sitting beside actually does. But I'm going to go over that, so we won't need to read through each one of those. When you first uh, start up, you'll probably want to select what coins you want. By default, um, the uh, worksheet, if you generate were to generate it now, it would include all these coins. But let's go ahead and just have the uh, worksheet on and include pennies, nickels, and dimes. Now, if you unclick all of them, it will default to pennies and uh, yeah, actually put the check mark back in there. Because it doesn't make any sense to generate a worksheet without selecting any coins. Now, this box over here will allow you to choose how many coins are put in each problem. By default, it starts up with 1 and 12, so it, each problem is going to have between 1 coin in it and as many as 12 coins. And you can also reverse this, and it does the same thing, so the order doesn't make any difference. If you have the same number, let's go ahead and put 8 on there, then every problem will have 8 coins, and I'll show you that in just a second. Starting problem number is the uh, no, probably the, the number you'll want to use is one, and that's the default. You'll probably just want to leave that alone. But if you're generating several pages, then you'll want to adjust that, and I'll show you how that works also. Generate will actually generate the worksheet based on what you've plugged in above here, and the print will actually send it to your uh, printer or your print option screens, I should say. So. When you first start up, there's nothing down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and generate some worksheets based on what we have up here. And so you're going to see problems with eight coins in there, and they're only going to include penny, nickels, and dimes. And it's going to start at problem number one. So I can click generate, and there's my problems. And I can cl keep clicking this, and I have a whole screen full of problems here and the problem numbers will vary based on how much room the line of coins are taking up. If you use half dollars you're not going to get as many problems on there as if you're using just pennies. The the print button will actually send it to your printer and you notice here it says answer key and it has answers. When you print it it will actually print out the answer key with the answers as well as a sheet uh, without the answers, and I believe it has name and um, date on there for the students to fill in. So basically, you have you'll have a sheet for the students to fill in the answers, and then you'll also have the answer key. And I'll show you. You're not going to be able to see a whole lot in the video, but if I click print, it takes me to my print key. I'm sorry, my print screen where I can choose what printer to go to and everything like that. Here's the. Uh, this is the answer key up here, and here's the uh, regular sheet that you would hand out to students. And, and there's more over here, I just can't show it right now without throwing everything off in the video, because I'm going to go right back to that now and show you. Let's go ahead and choose 1 and 8. Let's bring in quarters now and generate some. Actually we can switch the starting problem number to 7 so you can see how that works. Go ahead and click generate. So you got a problem there with two, one coin, and if I scroll down you can see there's a pretty good variation of coins there and the problem number did start at 7 as I requested up here. So that's how this uh, the money worksheet generator works. I hope you have uh, I hope this uh, videos help some, and thanks for watching.